Hey guys, so here's a question. What is Goron worth buying? So in this video, I'm going to exactly answer that, and this is going to be basically my review and what to know about Gorn. So I'm going to start this off with how much it costs and what it's available on. So it's available on any VR headset. It's $20, so yeah. So next, is it worth buying it? like the $20, so in my opinion, yeah, it's worth it. There's a bunch of stuff. You can mod it, just I'm not gonna go into detail. You can look it up on YouTube of how to do it and stuff, and there are a bunch of reviews. So, yeah, so in my opinion, it's really worth the $20, so there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. So there are like nine main bosses, like three on each floor, no, there are yeah, there are nine, if I'm correct. There are, like, three on each floor, and there are three floors. So, you have to do defeat everyone, and each one will give you, like, special items and everything. And then you can go into custom. There's a bunch of stuff they can do to make, like, the game fun, more fun. And then, um, like, you can make, like, yourself a giant. It's So, there's a bunch of stuff you can do in custom mode, and then you can use all the weapons that you unlocked in custom mode. There's also an endless mode if you just want to go forever until you die. But, yeah. So there's a lot of stuff to do in the game. For $20, it's worth it. It's not overpriced. It's, like, priced just perfect. Like, it was, if it was worth 40 that's a tad much. But 20 or 30 is perfect. But it's worth 20 So, yeah. If you can get it, I would. It's a super fun game. You can honestly just spend hours and then not even realize that you're spending hours in it but then you look at your watch and then you realize oh shoot it's five and i started playing at two so it's a good game to get lost in the only um competition for this game is blade and sorcery and maybe some other games that you can sideload but the main competition is blade and sorcery and if um my friend, Fiesel, is going to be releasing a Blade and Sorcery review pretty soon. And so if you want to see that, then go check his channel out. I'll leave a link in the description for that. But yeah, so there's the only main competition is Blade and Sorcery, but that is only available on like, um, you cannot buy it on the Quest, which is what I have. So you can buy it on like the Rift or on Steam, if I'm correct. But, yeah, so, Gorn is a fun game. If you have $20 and you want to buy a game on your VR headset, I would buy Gorn. It's fun, it's brutal, but if there's too much blood for you, then you can honestly just, there's a low graphics setting, and you can honestly just click that on, and then it'll turn, like, the blood into candy, and yeah. So, you'll find yourself feeling kind of, like, crazed, and, like, but it's like a fun game like you can stab people you can like blow people up with like a sword and it's all swords so it's like medieval not medieval times like bc times or like gladiator fights are and there's just a bunch of bosses you can do one of the bosses is a crab boss so you get like these crab claws and everything it's just an overall fun and weird game in general but it's at the point where it's so weird that it's fun so yeah it doesn't have, like, graphics. It's not going for graphics, though. And, yeah. So, if you have $20 to spend, I would buy this game. If you're looking for a sword game on the Quest or whatever uh, headset that you have. But, yeah. So, that's basically my review for Gorn. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you find this helpful and you want to support the channel, then it would be fantastic if you subscribed and leave a like and leave a like, but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.